Hey guys. Well, it's another beautiful day here for fall. It's close to 70. It's not normally this nice, but uh, it is gorgeous out. But we're here to do another review. Now, I'm doing this one on my phone, so please bear with me, but it was so nice outside, I figured we'd do it outside. Now, this was sent to me to review. It's another uh, self balance. This one's the TDS and EC Hold. I like this thing. If you guys have a pool or a hot tub, something along those lines, this thing's awesome. Um, you know those test strips, like the ones I did the review for yesterday on them? If you have to use them for a pool, like constantly always checking your pH and stuff in your pool, it, it kind of gets expensive after a while just because, like, I mean, we've had this pool here for like, I don't know, nine years. Now the issue with the test strips are, you get the box of them, you test your water, then you put them somewhere and you forget about them and you lost them. And then you go have to buy another set, buy another set. So with these, or with this, you don't have to do that. Now the ones yesterday were cool just because that was actually for a health thing, so that was to actually check your pH balance and monitor your health. So, I like that. But for just random testing water and stuff, I mean, they work, but this is so much nicer. And it comes in a little little case. This was sent free to me to review too. But let's pull this thing out. It comes with an instruction book, which I'll just post all the instructions down below. And what way you guys can read it yourselves. But it's a cool little meter comes with batteries even, which is cool. It's low power, so the batteries that are in it should last you a while, especially with the amount you probably have to test your water. If you have a hot tub, you probably test it a little bit more because, I mean, I know when we had our hot tub, we used to test it all the time just to make sure everything was copacetic, but it's got a huge LCD display on it. Um, it is set for factory Celsius. So when you first turn it on for, if you're over in America, you hit the shift button twice and it'll switch it over to Fahrenheit. Um, it'll measure the temperature of your water, your pH balance, and it also will do con uh, the conductivity of it. I'm not quite sure on that one, because I'm pretty sure all water's conductive, but not sure. Now if you look at it, you sink it right up to that line right there. I know my fingernails are nasty. I just got out of work and I've been doing cosmetics all day. I probably look like I'm covered in gray too, but. Now what you do is, you stick this in the water, stick it in the water, stir it around, get all the air bubbles out, and you look at the meter, and when it stops, you can actually just hit the whole button, and you can pick it up and you can actually look at it. So that's what we're gonna do. This isn't, probably the best water to be doing it in like i said my, we shut the pool down for the year already but this is what i would use it for so well apparently it doesn't like that water so we are going to go to plan z that's probably my fault guys there's not enough water in the filter so we are just going to meander over to some other water and we'll try the other water. Like I said, there's, it's the end of the year so we don't have that much water in the pool, but I'll, this will help with the temp. Let's see. Old dog bowl. It's reading. I'll hold it. All right. The temperature of the water is 68 degrees, and the EC is 114. 
Okay, so we're gonna come over here. Pull out the little instructions. You look at the instructions. It's got your little meter on the bottom of it. So 114 is hard water. It's just a little bit underneath average tap water, which makes sense because that's been sitting outside. So it's got rain water and some other stuff in it too. But that's how quick it is. I mean, you just stick it in there. It'll read it, it'll tell you the temperature, it'll do everything. I like that. I like things that are simple. And like I said, it comes with the batteries. And you can actually read what it says, 68 degrees. And the number is 114. So, and on the chart, 200 is about average tap water. This is just under 200. So, like I said, it's got rainwater mixed into it. It might not like the pool water just because it is a salt water filter. But I like it. It seems to work really good. And I mean, it's really reasonably priced. I'll put a link down below to the Amazon page where I got it from. Like I said, if you got a pool or a hot tub, definitely, definitely a nice thing to have. You don't have to worry about it. And it's going to be... A lot more accurate than your test strips. A lot more accurate. Because if you saw yesterday with the test strips, you dip it and you have to kind of match the colors and figure out which color matches what you're looking for. This one will, you stick it in, get the numbers on it. And after you use it for a little bit, you'll start knowing what the numbers are supposed to be. So it makes it real simple to pinpoint right down to what you're, pH levels and all that is in your water and I mean I don't know if you guys have ever got when you first fill up your pool and it turns like bright green and you have to shock it you have to keep testing it and testing it to make sure it, you get the levels right where it needs to be this makes it just simple you just stick it in check it and if you still question it afterwards you can actually instead of taking a sample of water down to the pool place be like all right well this is my exact numbers of what my water is what do i what do i need to do to tweak it to where i need to be and they can help you right over and say that you're going to have to add some more stuff to it or salt chlorine it all depends what kind of filter you have in your pool like i said the one here is salt water so you would add more salt to it to shock it. Um, if it's a chlorine pool, I'm assuming you just add more chlorine, get your levels to where you need to be. But, awesome deal. It's an awesome deal, guys. Um, I actually highly recommend this one. Highly recommend this one, just because it takes out a lot of the no-brainer stuff. You can pretty much just go up and click 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 and you're done it's not a whole bunch of guesswork you just get it done so i want to say thank you to the self-balance company this thing is awesome they did send it to me free to review um i'm actually going to keep this one like I said, the test strips and stuff I gave to Breck, but this one I'm actually going to keep because this thing will come in handy big time. Thank you guys big for time. watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Like I said, I'll put all the, all the information down below in the description. And I will also put a link to the Amazon page where you can grab this. Like I said, if you have a pool, I highly, I highly recommend it. Pool or a hot tub. You can't go wrong. You definitely can't go wrong. Well, goodbye, guys.